This example I'm showing you, we're, we're going from scratch. We've literally got a domain in a new forest. We don't have an existing network or an existing namespace that we want to use. Oh, so I've clicked next. Um, the next thing is uh, a full DNS name. Um, now ours is just going to be lrc.local. Okay. Um, so uh, LRC is for where we are. Learning Resource Center and uh, dot .local. Um, to, defer, to, to define it differently from a .com, it's actually not going to be a DNS name that's going to be used out of outside of our network. I'll click on Next. And what's happening here is it's probably checking to make sure that that DNS name is not being used by uh, anything else on the network. So it might take a while. Okay, now it's come up with um, asking us about the NetBIOS domain name. Um, so this is an alternative uh, name, and and by default it just takes the the first um, the the words the domain name before the dot. Um, so in this case it's just LRC, which is fine, and we'll just go for next. Uh, and now this asks us where we're going to actually install Active Directory. So where is the database? Where are the log files going to be stored? Now by default this is under C Windows, and we're going to keep the default here. But if we wanted to, we could actually browse to a new location and actually change the location of Active Directory. Um, and again, this is the shared system volume. Same thing here, asking us where do we want to install it. We're going to keep in the same location, the, the default location. So we click Next. Um, now, DNS registration. Um, it actually says diagnostic failed. Um, what this was trying to do was trying to contact a, a DNS server. Now, we don't have DNS installed. The only role this one actually is playing is as a file server. So it, we actually need um, to install and configure DNS on this computer for it to actually work um, as a standalone domain controller with no other servers on the network. So we've actually got the second option here that's already highlighted. Install and configure the DNS server on this computer and set this computer to use this DNS server as its preferred DNS server. So that's the, the option we're going to go for. Click on Next. Um, now, this is where we look at permissions. Um, setting permissions for users uh, and other objects we might have on, on the network. Uh, the first option is permissions compatible with pre-Windows 2000 server operating systems. And the second one is permissions compatible only with Windows 2000 or Windows 2000 Server 2003 operating systems. Um, now, obviously it depends on the clients um, that we're going to have. Uh, we're actually not going to have anything that's pre-Windows 2000, so we're going to stay with, again, the default one here, which is compatible only with Windows 2000 or above. Click on Next. Um, now this is a um, restore mode administrator password and it will like a, a, an administrator password so I'm going to put one in. Um, oops, I think I spelled that one wrong. Try it again. Okay, and click on next. Um, and here we have, uh, this is basically a summary of what we're going to do. And this box here tells us exactly what we're doing, what we've asked, what it's asked us to do, and what we've actually configured it to do. So I'm going to click on Next. And here we have, this is it actually writing the Active Directory. Okay, so as I mentioned before, Active Directory is a database containing all the information, user accounts, computer accounts, so here we have, it's installing the Active Directory, it's actually writing the database into the locations where, actually, where we actually wanted them to be, um, in these locations here that we specified. Now this is obviously going to take quite a while, um, and it's actually a good time to go and get a cup of coffee. Okay. So now it's asking us to put the uh, CD in with Windows 2003 on it. Uh, click OK. Uh, now I'm just going to browse to a local network uh, copy on my C drive. 
the i386 folder where it is and click open and click OK. So it's copying some files now that it needs. And this is installing the DNS. OK, and we're back to um, Active Directory installing the DNS at the same time. OK, and there we've got the uh, wizard saying complete the Active Directory installation um, and click on finish and uh, it's now asking us do we want to actually restart uh, which uh, we do okay so our computer has restarted and uh, we've logged in and this is uh, what we've got the configure your server wizard and it says this server is now a domain controller uh, and if we click finish the manage your server wizard um, should pop up. Here it comes. There we go. So manage your server, name of the server, your server roles, uh, we've got the file server and we've got the main controller and we've also got DNS for name resolution. Okay so that's um, the options that we have. So we've successfully made this now a domain controller. Um, now if you want to add any other roles you can always go to the add or remove a role for things like DHCP and other things that you might want your server to do. Um, but for now um, this is great. This is what we actually tried to do uh, and it works fine. Um, let's just check um, to see where uh, you would go to actually um, do things to sort of administer your network uh, if we go to um, programs, administrative tools, and here we have a whole list of administrative tools that we might need to use. Um, for example, uh, here we are, Active Directory users and computers. Um, this might be where, uh, something you might use quite a lot for adding users, computers, changing, resetting passwords, that sort of thing. Um, obviously DNS, um, maybe if you're going to have, uh, have it as a, a file server, looking at resource management here um, and obviously we can always come back here and go to computer management um, and actually uh, or if you want you can configure your server change it again manage your server go and see what there is um, add new roles take roles away okay well that's uh, that's enough for um, this little video and uh, next time we'll be looking at uh, the clients actually installing clients into our network uh, so that um, we've now got our domain controller, we're going to have clients, and I think we'll try um, three different clients. Uh, we'll have a Windows 2000 professional client, um, we'll make it a client of this, this domain. We'll use a Windows XP client, and we'll also use a Vista client. Mm -hmm.